Dengan ini majlis dengan segala hormatnya menjemput yang berusaha Miss Tio Shufa, Farm and Product Director daripada Hava Agrotech Sunil Berhad dan merupakan alumna Unimap untuk menyampaikan perkongsian dengan kita. Okay, selamat pagi dan salam sejahtera saya ucapkan kepada Tuan Mat, Pengerusi Majlis, Lecturers, Doctors, Professionals and Guru-Guru yang dihormati sekalian. It's my pleasure to stand here as an alumni Unimap who graduated as a Biosystem Engineer in 2020. Okay, so today I'm here to present to you regarding my, not to say success, but achievement after my studies in Unimap. So first of all, I think I still have to introduce myself. Lah. During this presentation, I will mix, I mean, uh, using Malay and also Bahasa English, so that uh, if there's any question, you still can ask me, okay? Uh, yeah, a little bit introduce about myself. My name is uh, Tio Shu Hua. You can call me Tio. Actually, I'm a uh, graduate from Bachelor of Biosystem Engineering, UNIMAP, pada tahun 2020. It's uh, actually... Uh, not to say fresh grade, lah, but I have a working experience about two years. Okay. So actually, biosystem engineering, sebab tadi masa makan-makan, cikgu pun ada tanya tentang biosystem engineering ini. So masa dengar, you will feel like maybe it's about bio or anything. It's actually with the knowledge in sustainable agriculture, automation, emerging technology, structure and environment, post-harvest technology for the sustainable productions of food. It's actually about the design of system for sustainable farming. For me, it's a very important uh, sector or bido in in I mean now because food is very important to every one of us. Okay, so masa 2019, actually I start to join Hava Agrotech, which is the company that I working just uh, now as a intern in R and D department. So apa yang saya buat masa practical is to do the R and D for sustainable farming technology on the growing of plants, on the implementations of technology into sustainable farming system. So macam mana we can make sure everyone, even though they are other farming knowledge, but they still can use our farming technology to grow plants by their own. We want, we want to make sure everyone have the ability to grow their own food. Okay. Then after that, uh, I continue my studies in Unimed because practical saya hanya tiga bulan. Lepas tu, I continue work as a product developer in Hava to focus on the research and innovations of product using Hava farming technology. Masa itu, I start to involve myself in the standardize of the SOP for every single product in Hava. And also, I start to learn about farming technology that uh, which we say that is no more uh, conventional ways of growing. And then in 2021, after six months of being a product developer, I have been offered and working as a, currently working as a farm and product director, which I have been involved in a commercial farm setup as well. The design, drawing, concepts, and consultations for our clients also. Itu yang apa saya buat and my experience in Hava. Okay. So next. Uh, so about that, I keep on repeating Hava, 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 but then what actually Hava is doing? Now I'm going to share about Hava Ponics technology. So, much on the Baju Saya, the HAVVA is actually our company name and it's integrated with different farming technology. So, as you can see in the slide, okay, other hydroponics, aeroponics, vertical farming, uh, vermiponics, and aquaculture. All these five farming technology we integrate together into our sustainable farming system so that we enable everyone to enjoy non-toxic, fresh and healthy food. Itu apa yang Hava bought. So hydroponics, sorry. Sorry. Uh, so hydroponics is actually about soilless farming method. 
bukan lagi conventional way of growing that we think of. Kalau student nak join agro technology, we will worry about whether they need to uh, work under hot sun, they need to ambil cangkul untuk tanam sayur, no more. It's about soilless farming method. That's why we are using hydroponics. And then next is aeroponics. Aeroponics is a type of growing techniques that enable the plants to grow faster. Okay. And then vermiponics is actually about recycling waste. That's what about my studies about sustainable farming. How are we going to implement farming into different way of growing? And then we can make this with pollution free, environmental friendly. That's what during my study and I implement into my working environment and yeah, this company do doing this thing also. And then vertical farming. Vertical farming is about space optimization. Bukan lagi dalam satu space yang kecil and then we just grow one plant. It's actually about one square feet space, we can grow up to more than 50 plant. You can, yang you boleh buat harvesting. Nanti saya akan tunjuk dalam gambar. And then next is aquaculture, which just now we do have mentioned also. It's about recirculating aquaculture system. So yeah, tadi yang lima jenis farming technology is what we I'm doing in Hava also, and our business is impact is actually to reduce food mouth to almost zero and to reduce tons of carbon footprint beside ensuring food security. Itu yang apa kami buat. So as a biosystem engineer also, we contribute something to the society because we want to reduce the carbon footprint. We want to contribute ourselves in food security and food safety issue. Okay, and then beside there is a diagram. It's actually uh, there is about 500 above user who using Hava farming technology. It's all about home user, not include commercial farm. And also we have more than 50 rural school that using our farming technology. Later on, I will show in the photo. It's about uh, what we do to educate the children about Hava farming technology and let them to get in contact with the urban farming technology since young. Okay. So, yeah, sebab uh, ada banyak isu yang uh, ada dekat agro technology, we have concern on whether should we inter, uh, involve ourselves in uh, agro technology or not. Actually, um, sekarang, zaman sekarang, agro technology bukan lagi tentang uh, sangat susah untuk grow vegetable, all those things. But in the market, you still can see there are lots of equipment yang canggih, yang boleh pakai untuk tanam sayur. Tapi there is still many, many problems that causing us need a lot of professionalities or students graduate from university to solve the issue. Because we are not only one the equipment yang boleh um, nampak canggih, tapi dia tak dapat tanam. Or ada banyak orang yang dia beli sistem dari luar atau dekat market, ambil balik rumah, maybe first time they can grow, after that they face the issue and then they cannot grow anymore. What actually the service provide in our company and this agro technology field is that we provide the solution, we provide the system yang ada buat years of research. That That's why we need the professionalities. Kita perlukan student yang graduate dari university. Sebab we do the R&D, for the component, and then we come up with a system yang matured, lepas tu baru ada SOP yang standardized, then we provide lifetime customer support for everyone who buy the system. We provide our professionalities to make sure that everyone who get the system and buy the system able to grow their own food. Itu yang service we provide, and that's why we need the professionalities graduate from universities. Dia bukan lagi tentang uh, saya tak dapat tanam sayur, lepas tu I kena tunggu hujan baru boleh tanam. All those things is not exist anymore. Now it's about urban farming. Okay. So uh, now I want to sharing about what do I involve and what I did in Hawa. So first is about innovation, as I men mentioned. I am a graduate as a biosystem engineer. So I learned about AutoCAD drawing, I learned about theory of structure, I learned about many other things about innovation in my studies. But then when come to industry, whether how am I going to implement all these things, it actually depends on how professional you are. That's why I mentioned about this. So I joined Hava and then we do innovations on the component, on the technology, 
about sustainable farming. So these are the product that we integrate and innovate. So yang ini dekat tengah is actually the first uh, product yang saya join and go through the whole process on the innovation. Actually, we collaborate with Sirim Malaysia untuk buat produk ini. So I go through the process from the beginning of the brainstorming of the idea and then come to the stage discussion with them and then we print out the 3D module prototype. After that, I use the 3D prototype to grow the vegetable and then to see and compare the yields and growing of the vegetable to do the improvement. That's my first project after I graduate and then I joined Hawa and what I did. So and then end up we come up with a final product and then currently we are using this uh, product as a uh, component where we can help the customer to grow more and it's more convenient because, because they can use this product to stack more layers and then according to their needs. That's what I do in my studies and uh, using my studies and in this innovation stage. And there's also water dispenser, net pot. Net pot also come together with this uh, grower 360 set. This is all the component that we use to integrate hydroponics, aeroponics, aquaculture, like the five farming technique that I mentioned together so that they can use our component to grow plants. So next. I Sudan mentioned about innovation. So as a biosystem engineer, I graduate with my knowledge and technique and then I implement my skill into, uh, working into my working environment, into the industry field. So after that, I come up with the, we, we work together as a team in a company. We come up with the idea and concept and the component. And then why we want to come up with this, all these components? Because the component able to help to lower down the capex and opex so that more people can use this uh, advanced farming technology to expand their business in agriculture. And then it's able to produce high yields in comparison to conventional way of growing. And also we can produce high quality produce in comparison to conventional one. Okay. And also, as I mentioned, because the land scarcity happen uh, nowadays, and then this with this type of farming technology, we are able to maximize the space for the growing of plant. So on the right side, you will see that it's about household and what service we provide for the school as well. So we have a ready set, ready assemble home planting system that every single user they can use our follow our SOP and then use our system to grow plants and vegetable. After that, on the left side, uh, you will say that it's about urban farm. So anyone who are interested to build their farm, to have a conventional ways of growing for selling of vegetable, or even they have, we have a clients that who doing farm to table, farm to table restaurant. Mereka build farm sendiri, lepas tu dia supply ikan dengan sayur dari farm sendiri pergi ke restaurant. Straight away, any customer yang come, dia boleh dapat fresh vegetable and fish from the farm and then cook on the spot, they have their meal there. So that is one of what of uh, our clients do also. Yeah, we provide this kind of service in terms of design, build and consult. Okay, so we move to the next. Okay, these are the product yang tadi I mentioned, other different home planting system. So we already design and innovate the component and then we implement all those farming technology into our home planting system. So anyone who want to grow their own food at home, they can actually according to their budget and also their punya space available in their home and then to choose which system is actually suitable for them for the growing. So at the same time, they can grow fish and vegetable or even they want to grow vegetable only. So these are the products that uh, we create and innovate and then we provide the mature SOP and then they can grow their own at home. Yeah. For all over Malaysia, we have uh, more than 500 home users who are using our home planting system. Okay. Yang bawah semua ini component yang we provide. So anyone who don't want to buy the ready assemble system, they want to DIY their own, they, want to, they already have a fish pond at home. So they want to know about the concept about aquaponics or hydroponics. They want to learn about Hava farming technology. Yes, we do provide the uh, 
classes, online classes that teach you about the theory and also you can design or draw your design, then we will provide you consultation by looking on your design and then we will give the advice so that before you do any uh, installations or DIY of your system, so to make the system really make it work. So that's what we provide also. Itu juga apa yang saya involve dalam uh, Hava untuk buat lepas I finish my studies in Unimap. Okay, next is about infrastructure. Actually, actually yang uh, I mentioned just now, we do provide consultation design and build farm for our clients. So after graded, after uh, a long a period of time being product developer, actually I being involved in Hava untuk what drawing. So that's why just now I do mention uh, as a biosystem engineer, I have exposed myself in the AutoCAD drawing. You know, even I is already separate or differentiate I myself with others from the uh, moment that I step into Hava. So when I was being assigned or being involved in this kind of a job, it's not uh, stressful or not to say I have to take spend a lot of time to catch up between uh, before I doing the things because I already know. So I just need a little bit uh, time to make sure the things being done correctly to plan out the things. That's the things that I, I think really helps after my studies. So, uh, dalam gambar, you boleh nampak ada yang sketch, uh, sketch up, ada yang AutoCAD drawing untuk commercial farm, ada yang uh, we also do the indoor farming. So, these are the things that I explore myself after my studies within these two years. Okay? So, uh, Mesti we will feel that what are the knowledge gained at the university that able to help in the success of a career in the agrotechnology sector. So beside the things that I mentioned just now, now I'm going to inter interrelate biosystem engineering and what I did in Hava. So just now I already share apa yang saya buat dekat Hava, apa yang I involve myself. Now it's about what I studies and experience in biosystem engineering. So for me, it's actually, uh, I have been given an opportunity to explore when I was a student in Unimap. So about Masa Jadi students, there are lots of opportunity and chances and it's really a place to explore. So uh, we learned about how to do problem solving in university so that uh, we can gain the ability to design solution for uh, problems. So about after you graduate, bila kita keluar untuk kerja, we need to have the ability to solve problems so that we can help the company to move forward, to improve even ourselves also. Itu yang I rasa, the first thing I want to highlight and it's really very important. Okay, And then next is about gaining of the technique and skill. As I mentioned just now, we have a lot of elective or courses or core courses that uh, a we have to handle during my stu our studies as uh, students. We have the Math lab, we have the AutoCAD drawing, we have the engineering skill, we have a lot of things need to attend during our studies. But then whether we can provide the professionalities after the studies or not, it depends and during and very, very important during our studies. Because this decide your professionalities after you graduate and whether you can provide in the field or not. So if you're asking that biosystem engineering is related or relevant to my studies or uh, to my work after I graduate or not, definitely yes. Yeah, okay. And then next is about the concept and theory. Masa I study, biasalah students memang akan figure, I, I still remember that time I learned about theory of structure. I still, I, that time I was thinking of, saya akan pakai ke ini theory of structure, masa study, kena buat calculation, semua tu. During study, definitely students will think of this. But then after two, uh, after one year I graduated and then I come out, I found that the moment I, I want to do, uh, I want to involve myself in the commercial farm, yes, we have to do the, the calculations for the structure, theory of the structure, design on the concept. You have to think of whether this kind of design is okay or good for your technology implementations or not. Other banyak concern yang you kena figure. But during our study, we were given the concept by the lecturer. We are given the uh, theory. 
tentang how was the flow rate yang you nak calculate, let's say, as an example, we want to do a aquaponic system, kena pakai water pump. You, as an engineer, you don't know how to calculate the flow rate, all those things, definitely will bring you down and sudah ada gap dekat situ dah, kalau you com com nak compete dengan orang lain. But then, if during the studies time, you have catch up with the theories and concept, and then when come to work, you just need need to implement. Maybe it's slightly different, but then you still have the basic concept or theory inside. And then when come to the implementations, it's really help a lot. That's why, uh, for me, I think that during the studies and it's really, I mean, biosystem engineering is really relevant to apa yang saya buat. So as I shown in the gamba, okay. We have a lot of site visit during my studies from year one up until year four. We have the visit to different sites. We have the uh, sharing of experience between university as well. We look about how others design or create their system. How others have the concept on creating this kind of the technology. Okay, I also joining different kind of the activity or competitions. Uh, which I represent Unimap for the Southeast Asia uh, competitions as biosystem engineer one. Okay, and then uh, this is on the next slide. Yeah, this is the program that I mentioned. So uh, for me, what I want to share with uh, juniors or others, if there is any competitions or opportunity to explore yourself, please go ahead. During the university time, it's really an opportunity for us to explore. So it's a process of innovation gaining. Macam I, menceburi bidang agrotechnology. Kalau masa university, I didn't join all this kind of activity. Actually, I don't know what is the pro process of the innovation. Because of I join joining all this activity, I know uh, actually I want to create something to compete with others or to bring out for the competition. I need to have my selling point. I need to have my unique part. So how am I going to brainstorming with others or my teammates? How am I going to, uh, after with the brainstorming, with the idea, how am I going to work together with the team to come up with this kind of technology or things for the competition? We have to, we must do the planning. So that's why for me, a study in biosystem engineering is really um, great experience on this part because I already know during the competitions or the event because we are giving tasks during our studies and then we have to complete our tasks. That is actually a process where we learn about uh, problem solving also. And then we understand the needs of sustainable development. We are given the concept during the study. It's actually a place for us to learn about the concept and to know about what actually happened in the society or world now. So we must understand uh, during that moment. After that, we come to the industry, we can implement the things. And next is the ability to present or share you, your idea with the audience. Kalau masa study, we already cannot present our ideas or concept to the lecturers or teachers, then masa kerja, macam mana kita nak propose our ideas or concept for the company as well. So this is why I think uh, this cost these are the parts that I think is really relevant and opportunities is given and then it helps to bonus up by what I study in my the field I, I join. Yeah. Next is also to understand the project management and finance principle. There are lots of mini project or courses that we have to complete in team. So we also learn about the management. How are you going to work this kind of thing or this project? in your study so that you can work, make it work and then present to your lecturer as well. So let's say I take an example. Masa I punya capstone project uh, in year four, I'm doing about indoor sustainable farming design, which the design of the, the um, sustainable farming technology is in a cabin. And then we do calculation of the costing. I do, I am the one who do the drawing for the uh, AutoCAD and also we do the implementations of IoT application. When come to work, I have done a project, later on I will share, to collab in collaborations with IKTBN where we do the indoor aquaponics system farming. Yeah, And I guide those students 
the it's about a uh, my agro future program and i guide the students and i do training for the students regarding uh, how to build this sustainable farm and then to teach them about the theory they have no concept on the urban farming technology so another one uh, which i highlighted here is where i think very important is about the implementations of knowledge and skill because semua pelajar dari unimap ada practical time we need to do practical before grade so that one is very important also because we can we can uh, try to implement our knowledge and skill during that time and then only we know and understand what actually industry need masa itulah saya ada 3 bulan uh, internship practical dekat hawa and then i start to know the knowledge or skills that i learned in university how should i implement all those things what are the parts yang i ta uh, cukup lagi hebat untuk implement or uh, mentorbury myself in industry and then i still i mean that time i still not great and then i come back to finish my last semester before i join i great so uh, the professional and ethical responsibility and commitment is very important Bila masa uh, we are given the opportunity to do the practical and then that time is the thing and this is the thing that I rasa boleh uh, as a students we are building up for this part. So next, why how, uh, agro, agro technology is important? It's about food security, it's about food safety issue. Kenapa we have to in... Uh, Kenapa we have to ask or we have to support our students or ask them to join agro technology field because we are doing something related to every single one here. Food security and food safety is very important, especially happens after COVID-19 issue. There are lots of users buying the system from us at that moment because we cannot go anywhere. Even nak keluar untuk beli sayur pun takut nanti kena COVID macam mana. <laughs> That's the serious issue. And why this, uh, kalau tengok trend sekarang, start dah, ada itu uh, awareness on food security and food safety issue. And we have to encourage them to join agro technology. Because kalau semua orang sudah jadi uh, pergi another field, we do not have that kind of professionalities yang other skill can support us in this part. So, uh, of course, there's also other problems, as I mentioned here, it's about arable land is reducing. Uh, remote from urban cities and then aging farmer sebab semua orang sudah nak na pergi bidang lain then farmer akan jadi semakin hari semakin uh, ada umur lah I mean so there is no youngster who joining sebab mereka think of farming is very susah and then kena uh, jemur bawa matahari kena ambil cangkuk all those things so uh, labor intensive also another issue and hard work so all these things is actually mm, creating issue okay so next it's about business and impact so also what i'm doing in uh, hava so actually we do have a project collaborate with my kase which empowering marginal rural children to participate in advanced farming technology where we install our home planting system matured sister uh, Matra system in more than 50 rural school to teach about the orang asli about urban farming technology to share with them about the concept of urban farming and then let the children have the opportunity to explore themselves in urban farming so that ini sudah system ini bukanlah jadi mm, macam I tak familiar dengan system ini I don't know actually there is this kind of system in the world Janganlah sampai dia pergi universiti dia baru dapat tahu oh actually farming is already come to this stage. I tak payah siram air dah. So uh, for the children in primary school, they already given with the opportunity to do this thing. Even in police also, I went for two school for this installation. And during the installation also, uh, we are given giving them about. Uh, the training or the basic concept on how to use the system and we do provide lifetime support to guide the teacher how to guide the students on growing plants all the time so currently all the system are still growing well on the on every single area so next part 
this is about the impact also on empowering disabled society to rebuild their career. So is it agro-technology hanya boleh dibuat atau diimplementasi oleh orang yang uh, mesti ada uh, farming knowledge? No. Even disabled also can use our system. That's what we want to do. That is our professionalities. Because we want to make sure every single system is easy, simple to use. So that even disabled also, they can use the system to do something special. Then next part is actually about education and enable everyone to enjoy non-toxic, fresh and healthy food sustainably. We have different program, community farm or home planting system. We join one uh, urban farming festival and then we also build a Malaysia first urban farm in a shopping mall. It's at uh, Keysight Mall KL also. If uh, you have drop, you, you have passed by, you can drop by there. Okay, all this is actually the things we do to educate the audience. Untuk ada kan banyak lagi tempat yang mereka boleh explore themselves to urban farming technology. Okay, this is the one that I mentioned, which relate to my studies, because my capstone project is about how how am I going to design or propose an indoor farming system. And then I do the calculation for the costing during the capstone project with my teammates. And then we implement the IoT system as well for this. And then actually, I never think of this one day. I find a job and then I implement that concept and idea into industry also. So we collaborate with IKTBN to come up with this first smart indoor havaponics system to educate and nurture young future agropreneur. So it's actually a program about my agro future. So they, they are given with the training, with theories and concept, and then they build the farm together with us. We guide them. All of them, uh, we already complete batch one and then now coming to the series two, where they are able to handle and then learn about havaponic technology. So ada juga among mereka yang after that, they implement the knowledge and buy the component from us and then they do their own business by growing plants. Okay, so next. Okay, this is about the first sustainable edible garden integrated into household landscaping. It's about a project in Bido. Okay, we actually collaborate together with developer to come out with a sustainable farm for kepada semua orang yang beli rumah dekat area daripada developer ini. So they can actually go to the sustainable farm and then to pluck and get the fresh vegetable. This is the uh, advantage lah kalau sesiapa yang beli rumah daripada project itu and that's what we're doing also. We provide this kind of service and I do involve in uh, this construction part for this uh, project. Okay, this is one of the biggest projects so far that I have involved myself in Hawa. It's about it's a pilot program to build young agro pruner in collaboration with Ibas Pharma and Agrobank. So actually, we do this ten thousand square feet farm, which can produce is about one time of harvesting with three tons of leafy vegetable, together with two point four. 2,400 kg ikan harvesting. So this farm is can produce fish and vegetable at the same time as a main core produce for this farm. So actually in this, uh, I do involve myself in the concept, brainstorming, design and drawing and also calculations of costing. That's why I said what I learned in university is actually being implemented into what I study. Just that uh, we have to improve myself I mean, I have to improve myself in this part because it is come to practical already, okay? So this is the, uh, yeah, Havaponics technology that I mentioned just now. We integrate vertical farming, hydroponics, aquaculture, vermiponics, and aeroponics technique into a single effective and efficient farming technology. So we provide complete, fresh, healthy, and non-toxic farming for home or even commercial, commercial skill user. So it's a design for anyone who want to grow non-toxic food sustainably. So farming is actually already come to this kind of the stage with the implementations of different technology to reduce the operation cost. No more 
when I because I do remember one time I sharing a talk in a urban farming festival when I asked about farming I asked the audience to answer me what is the first word you think in your mind they do share with me tedious exhausted tired that's the things but then in my mind farming when I say about farming is actually about easy simple and awesome okay so next thing is about the farming technology that we implement uh, there's continuous grow bed, siphon bed system, vertical planting system, nutrient flow technique. All this is actually the things that uh, I not to say all, but then some of the techniques is actually I have explored myself or I have learned during the site visit when I studied in uh, Unimap. But then when come to practical, it was not the first time that I seeing all these things. Just that I don't know about the details about this thing, so I have to learn about that and then I have to implement during my working time, yeah. Just now we do mention about IoT. Actually, we do have implement this kind of uh, technology in our system. IoT smart farming system is actually a solution where we build for monitoring the farm with the help of sensor like light, humidity, temperature, water pH, all those things. And then we have the dosing system to control at the water quality and then they can do the adjustment let's say now the ph for the water is not optimum for my fish or plant growing anymore then i can use the dosing system to do buffering and then i can monitor the changes that is what we need the professional to do that bukan lagi tanam sayo and then we have to siram air no need to get any knowledge that's why when i myself involved in this studies there are lots of questions asking. You already come from a conventional family. Why you want to go to the university and then come out still doing the same thing? It's actually totally different. Okay? And then also, uh, this one, this is the implementation we did in the Manong farm. Yeah, that's what I mentioned. Also with the nanotechnology, it's actually collaboration with Nano Malaysia. La. It's enhanced a conventional silicon-based solar panel for rooftop with nanotechnology for the superior sunlight absorption and maintenance of the reduction. So actually we can make farming better and better, easier and easier. So next, this one is the first sustainable agriculture research center in collaboration with University Selangor. Unicell. Okay. Uh, what I involve myself in this part is actually to do the training for the students who are going to do the research in this research center. So they will be using hydroponic technology to do their research and come up with more papers that can bring the impact to the society uh, with using our planting system. Okay. Then next part. Okay, this is the compost tower. What I explore or involve myself in this part is actually given training for the Hope Worldwide Malaysia. They have a lot of ambassadors and then I share the knowledge with them so that they can go through, embrace and convince more people, people on doing this uh, composting part so that we can uh, do more things for the society. We can effectively compost home kitchen waste at sources recirculate ways to grow vegetable, herbs, or even ornament plant. Potentially, we can reduce 100 ton of the waste yearly going to landfill. So, yeah. And also, uh, for this past two years, I have been joining a few of talk and also urban farming festival on the sharing of hydroponic technology with the public. So, kalau even you graded as an engineer, it's not only on the skill or technique part. You still need to able to talk to the audience to share your knowledge or your ideas so that others can know about uh, your concept or ideas and we can educate or share good thing to more people. That's what I think very important also. Okay. And then this is uh, what I have been involved also. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, the Grower 360 component is actually collaboration with CRIM. That is the first innovation project that I joined in Hava and also uh, to implement what I study la, for the involved in the 3D printing and also the R&D for the grower part. And then Unimap, yeah. Uh, after I finished my uh, industrial training, I was given the opportunity to have the uh, final year project given by my company. La. So to they engage me 
for the R&D and finance years uh, research project, so in optimizing Hava farming technology. That's the collaboration between Hava and Unimap. And yeah, this is what going now. I further my studies in uh, UM for the master in the nutritional research for the nutritional value of Hava produced in comparison to conventional ways of growing. That's to improve the value for Hava farming technology. And yeah, that's what I involve myself and do. So now come to the Q&A section. Is there any question or anything you want to ask before I end my speech? Yeah, I think if not, then that's all. And thank you for the opportunity given to do sharing. Terima kasih diucapkan kepada yang berusaha, Miss Teo Shufa di atas perkongsian sebentar tadi. Saya yakin uh, perkongsian beliau sedikit sebanyak membuka mata kita tentang uh, realiti sebenar uh, bidang agroteknologi dalam industri untuk para guru kongsikan uh, pula kepada pelajar-pelajar di sekolah nanti. Hadirin yang dihormati sekalian, dengan berakhirnya slot kedua sebentar tadi, maka sempurnalah majlis kita pada hari ini. Inilah yang dikatakan ibarat menanam sudah dituai, ibarat musafir sudah sampai. Umpama belayar telah sampai ke pelabuhan, umpama berjalan telah sampai ke destinasi. Bagi pihak majlis, kami ingin memohon seribu kemaafan sekiranya terdapat kekurangan dan keterlanjuran sepanjang majlis ini diadakan. Jutaan terima kasih juga diucapkan kepada penganjur bersama iaitu Pusat STEM Negara, Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia, University Malaysia Perlis dan Jabatan Pendidikan Negeri Perlis di atas penganjuran program pada hari ini. Pohon berangan tempat bertemu, girangnya rasa si anak dara. Baliklah tuan membawa ilmu, pinalah bangsa, bangunkan negara. Nyanyian lagu dua dekad tradisi gemilang, hadirin di pohon berdiri.